Hello there you beautiful people and welcome back to my gaming series and today I'm showing you a video of my brother playing Here They Lie on the PSVR through the power of the Wizard's Rover and of course the Cronus Max Plus which without all this it would not be possible. So yeah here is my little brother Scott playing Here They Lie and as you can see he has no fucking idea what he is doing. So you'll, you'll see me move around the, uh, the camera seeing what the fuck I'm doing but essentially you know, you you walk using the rover. Like, if you see my videos, you know how this setup works. You know, I've been I've been doing this for a while now, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm still absolutely loving it. You know, I'm over the fucking moon. I've, as you can see in this video, I re redesigned my setup. I've actually redone it again <laughs> at the moment, um, which you'll see in a, maybe the next video. I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm I keep redoing my setup so much it's hard for me to actually keep track, but. You will see some more videos coming very soon, such as, you know, The Persistence is coming. I also got a few other games, such as, uh, I think, what was it, Bravo Team? No, Firewall Zero Hour. I picked that up, as well as The Persistence. And look at that, the Dozy Bastard almost fell over. Yes, I was very cautious with him playing it, because, well, <laughs> he's a bit of a fucking, a bit of a dozy fucker. If he falls over and breaks it, I'm not going to be too happy. But, yeah, you know, he had a really good time. He was shitting himself, like, don't, don't get me wrong. Um... Later on during the video, I put the uh, VR backpack on him, you know, the Aura Interactor, and he really enjoyed that, you know. Uh, also, hopefully, right now, you'll be able to hear my voice a lot better, because I actually have a new microphone, which is brilliant. I'm not just using my standard piece of shit webcam one, which is even better. And yes, I do have a webcam, but I don't really want to do those fucking face cam video things. It's, I don't really see any point in that, to be honest with you. I mean, it might do at some point, who the fuck knows. But for now, it's just this, just as we've always liked it. Now... I am looking at doing something else with my setup. Uh, as you know, I got a laptop and an arcade controller. As you can see over there, because I got into uh, arcade gaming. And recently, as in about two days of making this, I will be receiving a old fruit machine, which I will be converting into a stand-up arcade machine, which won't really be that hard. I've got the parts, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident on it. However, I, I am considering, instead of using a laptop or a PC, of buying an NVIDIA Shield. Uh, TV and using that. The only thing that's stopping me is, and from the best of my knowledge, you can't use a PS2 emulator on it. And if you can, it's pretty shit. The GameCube one works fucking awesome, but the PS2 one doesn't, so I'm not entirely sure on that one, if I'm honest with you. Uh, just just things to basically improve the setup. Like, the VR side of it is badass, you know. Uh, so as you can see, the camera's on a, on a pole, and that lets you move a whole 360 degrees. Something I figured out way before even Sony did. And now they're jumping on the fucking bandwagon with the Iron Man VR game that's coming out for the PSVR. They've got it on a fucking stand as well. Uh, I probably wasn't the only one to figure it out. I'm pretty sure someone else did that as well. Which, you know, fair play to you as well done. Um, with my, my next setup, when it's inside the arcade machine, I'm thinking of having the camera sticking out the top of it. That'll probably be the easiest way. I'm also thinking about adding a dolphin bar. Um, for use with the Wiimote, you know, so there's a lot of things happening, a lot of, a lot of gaming's coming soon, um, I've picked up a lot of PSVR games in the, re in recent memory, such as the Inpatient, uh, I already mentioned Firewall Zero Hour, uh, what else did I pick up, Farscape or Farpoint, something like that, Farpoint, that was it, not Farscape, <laughs> but that is a badass show, and would be a brilliant game, anyway, I've not played them yet, uh, so I'm, I'm really wanting to do that for the, for the videos, so yeah, if I, if sooner or later I'll be getting around to them, and you'll be able to see them. Now, the Impatient does have me quite interested, you know, I, I want to run around a fucking an insane asylum. <laughs> It'd be pretty sweet. Now, as you can see, this is my brother here with the Aura Interactor backpack on, which I've been meaning to get a PlayStation sticker for, to really tie it in with the whole, you know, motif. But, you know, is as it is. Now, as you can see him holding onto the rails, that's not actually necessary. I've actually, you know, I've actually took the frame down at the moment to test out if you can use it just on the base itself. And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Um, you have to have really good balance, I'm not going to lie, if you don't, you're going to fucking fall over, and that's never good. So I wouldn't recommend it, but for my setup, I'm going to I'm gonna leave the uh, the thing on, possibly. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm going to test it, do a video, maybe see what you think. Um, and if not, if it's not good, I obviously won't keep it that way. But yeah, you know, I just I just wanted to show you this, and um, give you a bit of an update on what's been happening with the channel, and, you know, myself in general <laughs> i got my sister to play the persistence so that's going to be made soon you know the uh, the video got a lot of footage she didn't know what the fuck she was doing on it like i mean <laughs> that, that that was quite funny she didn't know which fucking way was which she was going she kept trying to use the control i was like no use your feet so that was that was a whole thing but yeah the persistence works brilliant not persistence yeah the persistence even the persistence works brilliant as does here they lie basically any game 
for the PSVR that lets you use either the Move controllers and the DualShock or just the DualShock will work with the Rover. It is that simple. I've got it to a stage now it's basically plug and play. You just plug the fucker in and that's it. You're on. You're gaming. You can do what the fuck you like. Go to any fucking world you want to go to. It's just that fucking amazing. So yeah, you know I am I am one hundred percent on the Rovers Rovers team. You know their side or whatever. I really want to make sure everyone has a Wizards Rover in their house because it is a badass form of entertainment. You know, not everyone's gonna want to do this active gaming thing, and that's fine. You know, it's not meant to replace it. It's just meant to be a companion towards it. So if you if you feel like you want to do this, then you know you go for it. You you buy it. Link in the description below as it always is, and tell them Shane sent you. Anyway, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today, and people. Now, once again, I've been me, and you've been you, and thank you so much for joining me on my gaming series. Please join me next time for something else. <laughs> Bye-bye for now.